Gun violence is a concern in Harrisburg. UPMC held a seminar to educate the public about what medical professionals are seeing at trauma centers. A lot of people are paying attention to this right now because 10 people have been shot in the capital city so far this year compared to three at this time last year. Let's turn to Evan Papalis for our top story. Evan. Yeah, Valerie, Alicia, once friends, but gun violence got in the way. Two Harrisburg men went from almost losing everything to making a positive impact. When that trigger was pulled, God stepped in there. Two friends caught up in drugs, separated by gun violence. Where the bullet hit me at, how I, you know, jumped the fence and, 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 and it hit me in my back. Temporarily paralyzing Cal Hallman from the waist down. The man that shot him back in 1991, sitting by his side. I see, at the time that I shot him, I was already on the run for shooting two people. So I was violent. I was young. I wasn't thinking I didn't care. Maurice Peppers went to prison. It was 18 years later when he got his first letter from Holman. I had a lot of anger. I had a lot of anger, you know, a lot of anger for him, you know what I mean, at that time. After more letters and phone calls over the course of Peppers' sentence, Holman wrote an 11-page letter to the court on his friend's behalf. Last December, Peppers was set free. I didn't want to come back out here the way I was, and I wanted to come back out and make a difference. Hallman was heading to the Poconos when he got the news. This number pops up on my phone on my way to the Poconos nine days later. And it don't got no name on it. So I usually don't answer phone numbers that ain't in my phone. I answered it and it was him. And he was like, man, what you put in that letter, man? The two sharing their stories at UPMC's gun violence seminar at Harrisburg University. Peppers and Hallman have plans to help those who struggle like them. Prenatal care a reentry program, and we want to work with the youth. We can teach from our experiences. I think we can help the youth. Hallman says he didn't have to forgive Peppers. At first, he wanted revenge, but as time went on, he decided to make amends and reintroduce Peppers into his life. That's why when you're dealing with something on this level, you can't let people get involved. I wouldn't let nobody get in between me and him because they wouldn't understand what is right. And officials at the seminar say Harrisburg's crime rate is twice as much as the state rate. Hallman says he is noticing way more gun violence today compared to back in the early 90s. In the newsroom, Evan Papalis, ABC 27 News.